Hello YouTube, Bowtide Media here, and today we are starting the, I guess if you want to say list week, list week kind of thing, where we are going through the top stuff of 2021 to cap off the year end. We are uh, almost, uh, we're already a third into 2022, and so about it's about time to do this list. So um, just so you guys know how it's happening, uh, today, Monday, is the top 25 Monster Cat songs. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, will be the top 10 worst albums and EPs of the year. On uh, Wednesday, will be the top 50 songs of the year. Thursday, will be the top 15 albums of the year. And on Friday, to cap off the week, will be top 20 albums of the year. So that's how the list is going to go. A new video each weekday as we go through the finalists of 2021. And so I'm excited for this. Uh, and the reason we're doing a specific Monster Cat themed day is because, you know, uh, a lot of this channel relates or not relates, uh, revolves around Monster Cat. So uh, that's, it's just natural. So we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about Monster Cat, my top 25 uh, Monster Cat songs of the year. So let's get into it. Awaken by AU5 featuring Noak. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say that actually, is 25. Uh, AU5, I mean, is just phenomenal. His production quality, sound design, uh, it's some of the dubstep that I actually, or melodic dub that I actually really, really enjoy and like listening to. And so this was just a banger track. Number 24 is Skin, I Give In To You by Vendata featuring Leon St. Curon and Lee Yu. Uh, great house track. I really love the nostalgic kind of vintage feel to it and kind of had those uh, R&B influences all throughout. Uh, it was a stellar album and this is my favorite song from, from it for sure. Number 23, Can't Sleep Alone by Smile, Oxami, and Nick Smith. It's just a fun song. It's just something you put on. You're like, this is just, oh, I just jam into it the whole time. It is such a banger. It's just a, it's uplifting. It's like spirit fillings track. And uh, it's just, it's just so fun. Number 22 is Falling Down by Drinks On Me. I really, really liked the Rise and Fall EP, although there were two songs I loved in particular more so than the rest of the EP. And uh, this is one of those songs. I just love that kind of UK garage style. It is like pure, pure UK garage. And I really like the kind of um, uh, whoppy sound that it's not really, not from whoppy, but it's kind of hard to explain like the thwong um, of uh, on this track. And so uh, that's why it's number 22. Number 21 is Stay by Tynan and Ace Aura. This was a collab for the years. Oh my gosh, this was... Uh, this was quite the song when it first came out. Uh, I've enjoyed it ever since. And uh, it's one that I, I never overplayed. And so every year, every kind of month, I gave it like a couple listens. And I was like, oh, this is still still such a great track. And so uh, I'm, I'm happy I didn't overplay this one. Number 20 is Out Loud by Fairlane featuring Roses and JT Roach. This song is, is beautiful. I think that's the best way to put it. Um, it's just so serene. And uh, another one that I would say is like spirit lifting. Like it's just like, Oh, you kind of sit down. It's like, it's a cry song for some people, for sure. Uh, I don't really cry when I listen to music, but uh, I can see this one being one of those for sure. And vocals, oh, they are just incredible throughout the song. So uh, that's why it's 20. Number 19 is Dizzy Lifted by Cloud Nun. I actually really, really like when Cloud Nun does uh, the more fast paced, energetic tracks like Dizzy Lifted is. Uh, and I think this is probably one of his better fast paced tracks that he's released in probably his entire discography. Number 18 is Extensia by Fowler. This track kind of caught me off guard. I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. The kind of really psychedelic feel that is paired with the album art is great. And uh, oh man, this one kind of just packs a weird punch. It kind of comes and hits you with like a right hook on that other drop. And it's just like, it's just weird. Kind of you sit there just like, uh, that was, that was great. Number 17 is Somewhere New by Bad Computer. You had to know there was some Bad Computer on this list. Everyone loves him because he's incredible. He's such an amazing producer. And uh, this whole EP was uh, was just stellar. Uh, and this was definitely my highlight of the EP for sure. Number 16 is Take Me Away by Stonebank and Amel. Uh, the last couple of years, I haven't been super impressed with Stonebank. Uh, I loved his kind of 2014, 15, 16 stuff. But the last couple of years, I've been like, eh, I kind of hear in the same old, same old. But uh, I really love this song. It's a kind of a different take from Stonebank make it being breaks and all. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I did overplay it a little bit, but I think if I it maybe didn't overplay it, it may be higher on the list, but uh, it ends here for the year end. Number 15 is Hurt Me Too by Bishu featuring McCall. Uh, this was a fun track. Bishu has proven himself to be a real titan in the Monster Cat scene as of late. And uh, by a lot of people's standards, kind of uh, carried a lot of instinct uh, in this last couple of years. I don't think, he, I wouldn't say carry, but um, he's definitely becoming one of the premier artists on Monster Cat right now, especially on instinct. But uh, I'm excited to hear what he has to, to produce in the future. His last song, I really, really did not like uh, at the end of 2021, but uh, Hurt Me Too was definitely a highlight. 
14, pure action by Kumarion. This one just goes. It goes, it goes. It has so much energy. Uh, it's similar to uh, Bensley's All Night, I think, which was one of my, I think in my top five of last year, something like that. So this is the kind of similar track. I always have one hard-hitting DNB track that I really, really love for the year, and this was uh, my one in that category for sure. Number 13 is The Taste by Ellis. The one-two punch of uh, The Taste and Orbit, this being the instinct style Ellis track. I just love his production so much. It has that real grit and power to it while still kind of hitting that more nostalgic, almost like a new disco style, even though it's nowhere close to new disco. It kind of has a lot of that influences there and you can you kind of hear the, the nostalgia of every track and while still feeling modern in the same sense. So uh, Ellis kills it every year and oh, I, I love what he produces. Number 12 is Warriors by Glacier. Oh, this list just keeps getting better. I love this song. It's got the kind of um, ancient Japanese style to it all. It's kind of even hard to say, just the, even with the artwork and the cherry blossoms, and that kind of stuff, it just kind of puts you in a time and a place of history that you're just like, oh, and just the, the, oh man, I feel like I'm a lost for words this song. I, I, I love it. At number 11 is Empty Bed by Saint Punk. Well, it's not the most uh, creative or really outstanding track of anything on this list. I just love it. It's just a clear cut banger that just goes and goes and goes. I love that kind of style of house that just is like in your face, boom, boom, and just something that I can put on all the time with bass boosted headphones and just be like, yes, I love the power. At number 10 is All of This by Ayuban and Nuzb. Uh, I'm actually shocked this ended up being in my top 10, but uh, here it stands. Uh, I had a hot take earlier where I think this is actually a better version of Cloud9 and Direct's Margarita, which people love. People really, really love that song. I think this is a better version of that song. It has the same energy, kind of has the same pacing, uh, but the kind of synth hits are just a little bit more interesting, and I think there's a little more variety to this track than Margarita is. At number nine is our only Silk song, uh, Miles to Go by Cascade and Ella Voss. Uh, this one... I've been a huge fan of Cascade even before I even got into Monster Cat. Cascade is one of the artists that got me into EDM in the first place. And uh, I just love his stuff. It's just a very, very clean progressive house style track. Um, there really isn't a ton going on, but everything about it is just so clean. The quality, the production, the, like the crispiness to all the hits even. It's just, oh, I'm, I'm a fan. At number eight is The Feeling by Cranked At and Ace Aura. Cranked At, Ace Aura, Tyne, and they all kind of did all these collaborations this year, and I think this was the best of all of those kind of style tracks. I don't know. I've always kind of looped those in my head, but I'm not sure about you guys, but um, The Feeling is the best. Uh, the Sad Robot EP was solid. I didn't think it was the best thing, really, but this song was a major, major highlight. Even for the label, I think it just it just did so much in terms of bringing Ace Aura into um, more of a realm, a Monster Cat realm, and uh, whole. This song goes hard and it's, if there's anything that would slowly, slowly get me into the more color-based rhythm style, it would be listening to the song more, I think. Even though I, I know it's it's just dubstep or mellow dub, but it, it kind of leans more into that area. So this song is is fantastic. At number seven is Flashlight by Cloud Nun and Mika Martin. I'm, I'm actually surprised this one ended up as high as it did. Uh, I think this is one of those uh, songs that I think was just such a great quality. I love the difference in Cloud Nun's style, it being a lot darker and deeper in, in terms of what he normally does, which is already dark and deep, uh, but just kind of has, I think Mika, Marka added, Mika Martin added a lot to the track that I actually really, really appreciated. And um, yeah, it's something I didn't really overplay. I just kind of listened to every now and then, and I was like, this song is still, still fantastic. So uh, that's why it's here. Number six is Memory Bank by Dairo and Conroe. Another song just like Empty Bed that just kind of goes. I just, I, I wish this song would have had a third drop or made it a little bit longer. The only reason it's not higher on this list is because it's so short. I just want more. I wanted, I wanted more of this. I loved everything about it. The bass hits are fantastic. Vocals are great. The guitar, everything about it. Perfect. Number five, Can You Hear It? 2015 by Grant Bowtie. Mr. Bowtie. A hit in the top five. Uh, this, I think, is a great, or would have been a great transitional piece for Grant's discography. His It's right in between Grant Bowtie and Grant. I think it is Grant Bowtie's best song, and uh, it's in the middle of the pack for Grant. Uh, it's really fun. It's very different than anything else he's really done with so much emphasis on those vocal chops and those being such a predominant piece of the mix, but um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I really did. Number four, Orbit by Ellis, the better half of the taste, the uncaged version. 
Oh man, I I talked about how the nostalgia kind of mixed with the heaviness of of Ellis's tracks as of late with these two. This is just a perfect embodiment of that kind of nostalgic lighter feel with a just heavy heavy bass line, some meaty synths, and it just works together to make this magic ball of music. Number three, State of Wonder by Inverness and uh, featuring Anthony Russo and Kang Daniel. Uh, I did not expect to like the song as much as I did, but this is like, uh, I would almost like an ironic banger. Like it's just something to listen to over and over again. It's super, super poppy. And I get that. And it can be annoying that <laughs> that can be really annoying for some people. And uh, for me, it just hit in all the right ways. It had a great kind of third uh, motion or movement to the song that kind of came up. And um, I, I don't mind uh, Kang Daniels verses on here. I, I like Anthony uh, Russo's parts as well, but um I, something about the song just kept sticking with me. It was like a, an odd kind of poppy track that I just, a more poppy inspired EDM track that I just really gravitated to. And uh, yeah, I just, I really loved it. Number two, More to Give by Drinks on Me. As I was going through this list, I was like, I had Drinks on Me fairly in the middle area, but I listened through all the songs again one more time. And I was like, I just really love this song so much. It's just, I think, the perfect embodiment of a UK garage style track to me. I love this kind of trip hop, trip chill style that Drinks On Me, Fiji, Direct does. And I think this is probably the best version of one of those songs I've heard in years. Um, Fiji is doing a little bit more subtle stuff now. Uh, Direct's going a little more calmer. But um, man, this, oh, I, I really, really love this song. This is, this perfectly is like... If I had to describe my love for the UK garage or the trip hop style of, of music, I would just play the song. I, I think it's amazing. And my number one Monster Cat song of the year is Fix It by Grant and Run. I, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I just got to put Grant as number one. I love him too much. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. Uh, this song came out and I was like, this is, this is perfect. This is just amazing Grant. This is just, this is what he does. This is his bread and butter. Uh, in all honesty, there really isn't a too, too much difference between this song and some of his other tracks, but, um, it's just a style that he's, he's really honed in on and that I, I love. I just love his feature based style so much. Um, it's not the most, uh, grandioso track. It's not like a constellations or wishes, but, uh, it does what it needs to. And, uh, I love runs vocals too. So, um, yeah. Oh man, Grant's so good. And that is it for my first list, first video of list week. Uh, that is the top 25 Monster Cat songs of 2021. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Just to recap, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, we have got the worst projects of the year, worst albums and EPs. Uh, on Wednesday, we're doing top songs. Thursday is top EPs and Friday is top albums. And if you're listening to this past January, what else, what is it? Like 15th, then all the videos are already up. So go watch them. But uh, with that, I've been Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video.